This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of The Flash Season 9, Episode 4, The Mask of the Red Death, Part 1. And oh boy, this episode, I wanted to like it, but just the acting by the Batwoman actress was just so bad, I just couldn't watch it at some points. I mean, like, she was terrible in this episode. Whoever did the voice for Red Death with the mask, mask on, it was just so much better. But whenever it was off, the scenes were just so poorly done. Like, like specifically her, like, just her performance specifically is ruining the character. And I feel if, like, literally anybody else played this character, then it could have been done so much better. But yeah, honestly... Just the way she did it is so, like, cringy and so bad that I think it took what could have been a really good story and writing and just made it so bad. And I mean, with it, I just couldn't watch sometimes. I just wanted to turn it off and just wish that they adapted this really interesting villain a lot better. Then I realized it was just her performance. There was nothing else really wrong with it, besides the Chester Allegro stuff, which honestly has just been a problem for the last few seasons, and I don't really know anybody who cares about this storyline, besides, I think, whoever the showrunner is. And, yeah, honestly... It was just something where it felt like it could have been such a good story, but it was executed so poorly with the terrible acting that the Batwoman actress had. And with this, I just really hope that they can improve the season in the back half, because next episode is going to be decent at the best, because... We're probably going to see a lot more unmasked scenes with Red Death since everyone knows who Red Death is now. And once everyone knows who the villain is in the show, then they stop wearing the mask as much. And yeah, honestly, I just hope they keep that mask on for as long as they possibly can, even though it doesn't look like it from the trailer. And it was just. It was just so bad. And I honestly just can't express how disappointed I am just with this interpretation, specifically by the actress, because all those lines just d didn't feel right, and they were just trying to do a bunch of like classic Batman lines, but honestly, didn't really land that well on any of them. And it didn't really have the depth of really the I Am Vengeance scene in the three different versions of it. If we take a look at the most recent one, it's to show how Batman really doesn't see how being vengeance isn't a good thing. And, and this is really well done in the Batman, but it fails here. And if we take a look at the two most famous versions of it, both done by the late and great Kevin Conroy, we have the lines of, I am Vengeance, I am the Knight, and I am Batman. And this line is super iconic, was used very well. Both times it was said by Conroy in both Batman the Animated Series 
in the first episode with Scarecrow and an Arkham Knight after he manages to defeat the mental Joker disease and is able to push it off and uses this all to just become more powerful and lock him away. And both times it was to overcome his demons and affirm who he truly was. In this one, it was just a cheap line where Batman's replaced with Red Death. And the story that Red Death told was so obvious a lie. I'm just glad that Iris saw through it because it had so many holes in it. It made so little sense that it honestly was just really, really dumb. And this just makes me wish that they followed the comic accurate story of the Red Death where it's an evil version of Batman who takes the Flash, straps him to the hood of the Batmobile, drives into the Speed Force, and steals his powers. And that could have been interesting, although they could have replaced him with Batman with Green Arrow from an alternate universe and had an evil Oliver Queen, which would have been fun. But yeah, honestly, this was so disappointing. And I just hope that Dark Knight's Metal gets adapted into an animated movie because I was so disappointed in this. And Red Death is not something that could have been really cool, but was just a failure on the part of the actress. And specifically, I just think that she could have done such a better job. But she's acting just, well, the acting is just so terrible. And with it, the rest of the story, it's fine. And... It's just the delivery from her, and I think if it was just done by a different actor, this would have been a truly amazing Flash story, but just with how bad she was at acting, it just really ruined the story. But I want to know what you think, because I honestly have made this like the longest Flash video I've done in a while, and I just want to know what you think, because I just can't express my disappointment anymore. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen. And may the force be with you.